You're cool. Tails. Tails is cool. It is hits. Hi, in the air. Does he have enough? Yeah, he does have enough. Does it go for four? Yeah, it does go for four. Get Dom guard, swing the leg, he'll get four. Goes over the leg side and goes powerfully. Maximo! First one of the day and it goes to the day in Darmgard. This is drilled hard and it wasn't that far from Usman Kabi. had no chance. That was powerful from Dudley. Four runs. A little bit short and it's Adios Pelota. That's in the jungle. That's embedded in the hill. Maximo! Goes yep. again, and this time he goes larger, elevated, maximal. Yep, it right, just feels like he's it. He's had that bit of luck as well. He kind of shouldered one for four, now he edges one for four. He's up at about 29 off nine. This time no one is getting this, maximal. Dudley yeah. gets it pitched up, he's been good back, he's been good forward. Nice cut, now he gets through the field, that one needed to be stopped really. Wahid Abdul couldn't get down and dirty. It's a dirty result for Dreux. Another four. Now up in the air, hanging. Half chance and taken. Oh, fantastic catch by Ahmed Nabi coming in. But once again, Dudley, he goes. In fact, he didn't quite make 40. Made it to 39 off 13. And so, yeah, he doesn't quite get his high score. This is what we talked about all the time with Dudley. He looks so, so good. Up in the air, and that one is going to fly into the sky and out of the ground. Maximo goes again, doesn't quite get it. Nabi, he's taken one now, he's taken two. Both of them is back in the shed. The game changes. Barty does the trick. Six and out for Darmgard. It's 71 for two. You're right, the game does change, Vinny, because that's a huge wicket. Barty gets hit for a six first ball. He comes back with the perfect response, slides it a little bit wider, and splices up in the air, and Nabi. It's having a very good tournament. Is it going to drop that? Oh, well, talk me through this one. Somehow it's going to go for four. It's a slow ball again. He looks to wrap it one way, hits it the other way. That was when there weren't so many games. Well, that's a powerful strike. And it's going to fly over the HCL software tent and out of here. Shot straight, and he goes beautifully up and over the top. Maximo. Hopeful toss and muscle down the ground for four. Goes for it, gets it. Nice batting from Guj. He's gone up a gear here in the eighth. Maximo. Okay, goes for this. Now, I think this has got the legs. Usman goes right back to the line, but he's not going to get it. That one is on top of the cube. Maximo. He goes for another one. This one's right back to the line and out of there. Maximo. Tries, turns Try. out to be a full toss, another boundary. Oh, oh yes. yes. Stand and deliver. Mind yourselves in the camera tower. That was large. Patrick having the morning out here. He's 42 or 14, another Maximo. I think Abdul's had enough, Gooch. Oh, now yeah, Gooji. He's going to get four. And how disrespectful to play the French cut against the French. How <laughs> dare Gooch. <laughs> Oh, Guji yeah. laces it. What a shot. What a 50 from the young 20-year-old. 52 off 16. All right. After Aman Amadzai hasn't bowled yet. Surprises me. He's going to get a wicket first ball. So hold. He uh, just mishits this. It was a slower ball, I think, first up from Abdul Rahman Amadzai. It was just skewed away. The catch was taken by Muhammad Rafa. His last opportunity, he waits and he gets it slightly wrong. Usman Khan comes in and he drops the catch. That really sums it up. Oh, they could go three here. Now, don't know if they can really go for three because it's a gimme. So they'll just stop at the two. So Guj will end up 60 not out of 21. What a fantastic innings from the youngster. And he has helped farmers elevate their score to 160 for three. And crunched. Oh, okay. Hello, sir. What a shot that is. 
Nabi goes for it. It's a slight miss hit. Going right back to the fence. And six. Well, it was a great effort. Goes for it. Doesn't quite get it. And gone. So that's the big wicket. Nabi doesn't get enough of this one. Doesn't get under it. The catch is taken. And so big moment in this chase. Dun, dun, dun. Shot. Good shot. Yeah, over the offside. Well, guess what? Cockney Corner is in session. They've arrived, the Hornchurch folks, and this will be six out of the ground. Here's the cutter, but he picks it and he puts it out of the ground. Maximo. There's the edge, and there's the catch. They hold it, and that is so important. Niaz is a thick outside edge, could have got anywhere, ended up flying straight to the man in the circle. So both openers removed. The feeling's too good. Well, that'll help because that is out of the ground. Going, going, gone. Maximo. Well, he might need luck because that's a oh, full watch out, kids. And, well, he's looking to endanger some more children. Well, children causing danger to children. First up, that's a seven up. Maximo. Bit of length on this and it disappears. That's Rafa's wheelhouse. Maximo. Goes again. Does this have the legs? I think it does. Out of here. Maximo. Back to back as this one goes magical. Slower ball, but he picks it and he sends it. Well, this is turning. Or yeah, ball. Better bowling. But guess oh, what? No. It's going to be four anyway. Oh, no. Oh, I think it's going to be four. Oh. It is four. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gets that as well. It's in the slot. Four and a six to start. And the last over went for 31. The first two balls of this order have, over have gone for 10. Trying to stop the bleeding, but now he will, because it's going to be gone. Rafa, he got one in the gap earlier in the over. This time he drags it straight to that fielder. It looks like Kempner takes the catch, or well, he'll be happy. But he swings oh, across, no. it'll get a boundary. Bit of streaky one, but it gets him off the mark. Well, this time he gets a bit more of it, and it disappears. Maximo! He's... But first one is going to be a full toss, disappearing. Maximo, straight over our heads. Oh, yeah, it's well bowled. It's going to be well caught by Darmgard. He did have a bit of length to work with, but not that much. So Nisa's going to have to go now. The Grushi strikes first ball. And Drew, that one hurts. The captain's gone 104 for four. Anyway, to Grushi, seeing both sides of it. And now he knocks him over, he gets the length right, Cameron Amadzai trying to hit into the jungle, he pretty much got Yorked, over goes the castle, it goes wicket six, wicket to start the eighth, that is 104 for five. Now he goes for it first oh ball, God. hanging in the air, Darmgard comes around to his right, takes the catch, well, he's got buckets down there doesn't he? So, well, just like that, Degushi takes three in four, he's on a hat trick. And yeah, live by the sword, die by the sword. Another victim is down. Hattrick ball. Well, maybe a third possibility. A single. Gotcha. Tries to go with it. Could be four in the over. Oh. Put down. It's a tough one for Goosh. He's had a very good game. Did well to get there. Got two hands to it, but couldn't hold on. End of a pretty memorable over for Degrush. He takes three for eight. That's eight overs down. It's 112 for six bowl to bring back. Oh, and yeah. he gets launched into the sky and this one is travelling out of the ground. Maximo. Yeah, it goes with the spin this time and it's out of here. Maximo. Amadzai gets a six. Is that out the window as well? Yeah, it goes straight. Goes shot. well. It's a really good shot from Amadzai. Oh, oh that could oh, be a noe. Trouble. I yeah, that's going to be a noe. They're going to look at that for height. It's gone Maximo. Well, hold on. <laughs> Oh, oh no. no way. Maximo no. time. Keeper goes back. Oh, Should be no. a wicket. Um, guards caught everything. So Palmer will have something to show for it. But they get 148. But Farmers get the points. Uh, also, yeah, they save the net run rate. Look, Farmers, I think all things considered, I know they kind of lost the plot a little bit in the last few overs. But still, when it came down to it, they had those runs on the board. And they run out winners in a huge match with... 309 runs in the 20 overs. Just imagine a T20 and a team scores 309. That's the rate we're seeing here. The final score, though, Farmers of Jersey, 160.